So, dear students, good evening. If you can hear me clearly, just let me know, please. So, we have uh, five students only for the session right now. So, I hope the rest of students will join later. So, if someone can hear me, just let me know, please. And we are going to start the class. So, uh, congratulations to the with the new semester. So we have um, new intake for October by the students list. So I have uh, three three groups. Just want to see just a moment. So we we have intake for February 2012, June intake, and the October. As I know, the February and June intake already joined the finance class with me, so I'm glad to see you again. So let me introduce myself first, then we continue with the teaching plan and then with the interim introduction, right? Uh, my name is Aliya Makarova. I'm actually from Kazakhstan, but right now I'm living in Montenegro. This is Europe for the current moment, almost two years. So I'm collaborating with uh, Worldwide Science in the lecturing the sciences as the finance and the human resource management. What about my degree, my, fir my background, my first degree is in the finance, the specialization is the banking. The second high education degree is in the economics at overall, and the latest education degree is a master in the business administration. So I study in Staffordshire University, which is UK University, but my campus was located in Malaysia, so I sat in Kuala Lumpur. So my dissertation were on the marketing field about the customer relationship management. So I have done some research on the effectiveness of loyalty programs in the insurance market. What about my experience? I worked as the managing direct director for the three years in the trading company, which were in, located in Malaysia, in Columbus City. So before that, I worked in the insurance field, as well as in banking and investing companies. And for today, I'm lecturing, as you know, in the finance field and the human resource management. Also, I'm working under my PhD thesis researching. So I'm going to continue my first study in development as well as getting new knowledge and skills. So that's all about me. Just short presentation. So uh, if someone wants to present him or herself, so go ahead. Just let me know if you would like to present yourself. I am. I will pass you a microphone. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, five or six students. Okay, M Mr. Mustafa Jafari wants to present, please. Ah, uh, yes. I can't hear you, Mr. Mustafa.
So who wants to present himself or herself? I can see that Mr. Musa wants, but I'm not sure what is the problem with the microphone or what else. So, Mr. Navid wants to present himself, so please. Mr. Hello, Navid? do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, hello, uh, dear teacher and dear classmates. Uh, uh, my name is Navid uh, Miochel, and uh, I'm a professional medical doctor, but I've been working also as a uh, different in different positions um, of management uh, in the past seven years and uh, at the moment I'm working as a team leader in a project uh, in Mazar Sharif, Afghanistan and uh, it's my second semester uh, with a um, online MBA uh, Worldwide Science Academy of Malaysia and uh, I thank Ms. Um, Alia, because she was our teacher in the first class in, in finance, and I uh, would like also to hear something about uh, the finance uh, results as well, uh, what happened, and uh, I'm very glad that I see a lot of new classmates, uh, and most of them I know from the previous class, and also the new classmates that I know them. Uh, I'm really happy to, to be in this class and learn a lot about your resource management, and which is a very interesting topic and uh, I really like it and uh, I have some knowledge of this uh, topic but I would like to learn more as I've seen the course plan and uh, that looks very fantastic and the book and the presentations that already have been sent thank you Ms. to Ms. Alia that she already sent to all the documents to us and uh, I would like to I uh, also um, ask uh, from the worldwide science to, to other teachers to send us all the documents beforehand. Thank you very much for this. Thank you, Mr. Mari. Thank you for a nice presentation. So if someone wants to continue its presentation, go ahead, please. I know that Mr. Musa wants to present himself, but he says that he has some problems with the microphone. Uh, maybe you can do it uh, later if you manage your microphone. So I, I can see that mi Mr. Muhammad Aziz wants to present. Yes, please. Mr. Muhammad Aziz, I can hear you. Yes, Mr. Muhammad Aziz, I can see your hand, but I can't hear you. So if you try to mute your microphone, that would be great. Anyone else? So that, that's a case. Uh, Mr. Muhammad has, has some technical problem with the microphone. So I just tried to pass him microphone, but I couldn't. So let's let's 
let me uh, introduce you the teaching plan first. We go to a term introduction. Then, if someone wants to present, we do it uh, at the end of the class. It's OK? So give me two minutes. So uh, here is I teaching plan. OK, right now, here it is. Uh, I have sent you, I emailed you the teaching plan for the human resource management course. Also, I emailed you the, the e-book for HRM study and the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation. Some of you sent me emails that they couldn't open that file because that file is being compressed to the WinRAR archive. You have to extract it, then you can open if you have this kind of program. If you don't have, just let me know. I try to email you by one by the presentation. OK? So let's see for the teaching plan first. So some of you say also that they didn't receive any information. So uh, if you didn't receive, uh, but you should receive actually, because I have the student list for the three groups, uh, give me your emails. Please just email me that and let me know that you didn't receive any information. I'm just going to to chart my email for you so you can save it and let me by email that you haven't received any information. Okay? So here it is. This is my email, Alia underscore L A I C at mail.ru. So email me if you didn't receive any information from me for the HRM course. Okay? So first let's see our teaching plan. So first class will be based on the introduction to human resource management. It's a very short one. We're going to define what is HRM, uh, the HRM objectives, and we're going to um, compare the human resource management with the personal management. The second class will be based on the strategic human resource management. We are sta will study about the strategic HRM, about the HR strategy and business strategy, as you can see, about the HR planning and analyze and forecast the HR needs. The third and fourth class would be held on for resourcing. Here is, you can see introduction of two resourcing. We study about the contracts, what is contractors and who is the consultants, about the recruitment, the selection methods, staff retention, and about the ending the contract. It, it would be as the home reading. The fifth and sixth class will be based on the performance part, which we will study by the organization performance about the knowledge and learning, employee per performance management. We will study about the leadership and change, managing access and attendance, and we will be some uh, focus skill, focus on the skills, some homework assignments. The class number seven will be based on the development about the learning and development and about the career development in the human resource management. The eighth class would be based on the rewards. What is it's actually about the rewards? Let's see this, about the salaries, incentives, about the rewards programs as the pensions and benefits. And on the class number eight, we'll give you uh, the 
the final project, I'll give you the topic for the final project, which will be based on the case study. And that case study will be based on the group assignment. So you have to be uh, divide for some uh, groups, like uh, four to five students. And you will do some assignments based on the case study. So the class number nine would be based on the motivation and motivation theories. And the, the last class, number eight, number, oh sorry, number 10, the, about the employee relations. We are going to study about the health, safety, and welfare, about the equality, equal opportunities, and diversity. So here is, this is given to you the teaching plan in shortly. So the final project, which will be the assessment of the HRM course, will be based on the final project. And the final project will be handled on, on the 1st December. And uh, the submission date would be uh, 1st February. So you will be given one to three months, oh, sorry, two months, December and um, January, right? You'll be given two months to complete your final project. So, and the topic for the final project I will give you later, not for today and at the latest classes. So, and every day we will have a new topic for human resource management and also we would give you some home assignments. So we do some reading, we do some practice based on the HRM. The human resource management would, would be based not only theory questions, so it's also a very interesting topic with, with, uh, with some case studies, and we will have also the practical, practical assignments. So that's all for teaching planning. So any questions so far for teaching plan? If no, we are going to continue with the introduction to human resource management. I, I can see the hand of Lida Akbari, please. Uh, miss, as I, I, I think I'm actually. I'm not sure. I think this is Miss Lee Duckberry. Hi. Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, yes, Miss Lida, I can hear you. Please, do you have any questions? Hello. Yes. You can't speak. Miss Lida, you can speak, please. Hello? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Hello? Yeah, that's interesting. She can't hear me. Hello? So, this I think. Yes, Miss Lida, can you hear me? Please let me know. Hello, hello, ma'am. Hello, hi. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. I can hear you, actually. Yeah, that's strange one. So, Miss Lida, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah, ma'am. Hello. Oh. So maybe we have some problem with the internet, with the low connection, I'm not sure. And that Miss Lida, she can't hear me. I hope the rest of you can hear me very well, So because we are going to start the class. Yes, we hear it. So sorry for Miss Lida that I, I, I couldn't hear, uh, speak to her this time. So that's okay. That's okay.
Hello. Yes. Hello, hi, ma'am. This is me, Rita Berry. Now I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you, please. You can come show, please, if you would like to. Sorry, ma'am? Uh, Miss Lydia, if you can hear, please let me know. So, would you, would you like to present yourself, or you want you have some questions for me? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm the like, very graduate of. Uh, Uh, first, I want to introduce myself. Okay. I graduate from the uh, University of Peshawar, Pakistan. Mm hmm Good. Anything else you want to add? And um, that's it, ma'am. <laughs> and now, as I'm uh, late uh, from this class, so I want to hear you, then I ask questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Lida. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you, ma'am. So, okay, that, that's good. So, so let let us uh, continue the the uh, introducing uh, at the end of the class, okay? So because we are, if we do start right now, that would be very great. So first topic, let's see. Part one. So today we will have some just introduction only to human resource management. So here we, as we can see, topic and the structure of this lesson is we're going to define what is HRM, what is human resource management, about the main means of the human resource management, we're identifying to the objectives of the HRM, and we're, we're going to compare the personal management, which is all patient management, with the human resource management, okay? So here is given to you the two kinds of definition of human resource management. The first definition is that HRM is a process of managing people in the organization in a structured and thorough manner. And the second definition is given to you that the HRM encompasses the management of people in the organization from a macro perspective. Let's see what is actually in details. The human resource management is the utilization of human resources. So utilization means uh, effectively using the human resources in the organization to achieve its goals and to achieve its objectives, as you can see. And the main goal is to maximize human capital. Uh, here is in the box, you can see the human resource activity objectives, the basic um, four, four objectives. The first is the, about the staffing, staffing activity. What it means? Uh, you must remember that the, the right people with the right skills and knowledge should provide their service when it's needed. So that means that staffing is very important in, the, in any organization or in any company. At any uh, human resource department should be uh, prepared the structure of the human resources, structure of the staff means. The contract also is very important, the contract between the staff and the company itself. 
And also very important is attractive employment packages. Why? The salaries, as you know, we are all are working on the salaries, right? The salaries, the drivers, the training programs, some development opportunities for study, and for and very important is the corporative environment and the culture of the company. It's very important the what kind of environment we have in in our organization, in our company, right? The second is objective is about the performance. So what it, it includes the motivation programs as a training, development, and reverse system. So about the motivation programs, we will study in latest uh, classes. We have a special part for the motivation programs and the four reverse systems too. The second object, uh, the third, sorry, the third objective is about the change management. So, the human resource department in the organizations runs the change management when it happens in the overall company. So, the, the change could be uh, external and internal. External, as you know, for example, some economical change which is affect the company, some political changes, uh, technological changes, social changes, the legalization changes. And uh, f from the internal side, what kind of change we have? For example, when uh, the, our, um, let's say, the shareholders will be changed. We have uh, some new shareholders. And they will bring a, a new view for the company, new strategy, strat strategy for the company. So, and then of course, uh, maybe we have to recruit a new staff or the cut staff. So it depends on the the strategy of the company. And uh, when the change happens in the company, the human resource is responsible for change management at overall. That means it recruits the special change agents with the special leadership skills. It can, for example, the company can recruit a new staff, as we call it change agents, or they can uh, train um, the remain staff uh, for, cha for change management and to provide them a special um, the, the training opportunities. Okay, and so here is someone asking me what is the pestle. This is the pestle is um, the change and analysis. It's a P about the political changes when it's happened and they will affect the company. E for its economical factor. S is for social factors. T for technological factors, E for environment factors, of, of course, the environment factors also could affect the company. And L is for, uh, for the law and legalization factor that affect the, the company, the organizations, okay? And the last objectives we have for human resource activity is the administration. So that means the human resource department and the management, they're responsible for lawful payment, for the direction of taxation, for national insurance, for the payment of pensions, for statutory sick pay and maternity pay, those if you have in the company, for the na national minimum wages and the working time regulations. Yes, that's good. Mr. Navit gives us the, the details, definition of the pestle. It's political, economical, social, technology, environment, and the law regulations. All those uh, changes will affect our company. So this is, a, here is, as we can see, the main objectives, staffing, perform, change management, and administration. Okay, let's see the next one. So what is the primary goal of the human resource activities? The first is, is to create the compatibility and between the individual's continuing development and the organization's superior economic performance. 
Compatibility means contribution between the staff development, their knowledge about the development, their knowledge and skills, and the organization's uh, organization management and the organization's performance of the organization. Okay. So I'm sorry for those who cannot hear me because uh, most of you can't hear me and those who can't hear me, I think you have maybe you have some taken pro problems with uh, your notebooks or your PC, well, you should manage it firstly. So let's continue. Here is giving you, uh, depending on the size of reason, that the HR manager has some responsibilities. What kind of response for all the functions that it deals in? Here is given to you the responsibilities of the HR manager. It's recruiting, hiring, training, the organization development, communication. The communication means communication between the staff and the company management. Okay, performance management, coaching. Coaching is also training. The policy recommendations. Uh, salary and benefits, team building, employee relations, and the leadership. So coaching is a training. Okay? The training programs. That means the human resource manager is responsible for training programs. So uh, here is, as you can see, this is all responsible of the HR manager, right? Uh, and all our uh, the latest topics will be based on these responsibilities. Uh, in the, the the rest of session, we are going to study re about the recruiting in details, about the training, about the organization development, about the performance management, as well as about the team building, leadership, policy recommendation, and so on. Okay. okay. So let's see the next one. So here is in the figure one, you can see the human resource management roles and objectives. As we had already studied about the objectives is the staffing, performance. Um, let me show you. Here is staffing, performance, change management, and the administration, right? And the roles, the roles of the HR management, uh, the, what kind of, uh, let's say, staff in the HR department we have. We have uh, line managers, uh, human resource generalists, the man, uh, the, and we have some uh, human resource specialists, the consultants and advisors, and subcontractors. I think that is familiar for you. So what is actually personal management? The personal management we have used in the managing people uh, before the HRM comes to us in the 21st century. The personal management is uh, like all fashion management uh, of the staff. It was a workforce centric, maybe some companies are still using that the personal management. It's a workforce centric. It's directed mainly at the organization's employees. That means the finding and training them. People means the arranging to the people to be paid. They explain the management expectations, what the management wants to. Uh, they justify the management actions, satisfying the work-related needs, dealing with their problems. With the needs means and seeking to modify management action that could produce a welcome employee response. This is the personal management. Let's see what, uh, how we are going to interpret the human resource management. The human resource management you have to remember that is resource centric and directly meant that the management needs for human resources to be provided and deployed. 
So it's great and fast on the planning. It's more widely as a, than the personal management. It's in place on the planning and the monitoring and controlling rather than just a mediation, just uh, managing the people only. It's problem solving is undertaken with other members of management on human resource issues rather than the directly with the imposed to the representatives. Okay, that means mm, that means when the problems comes in the company. Uh, solving is with the other departments. That means co contributing, for example, with uh, uh, with departments like marketing, like uh, the the departments like budgeting and the sales department, and so on. So it's contributing with uh, the rest of departments in the company and getting uh, and working as a team and getting a a good a effective solution for for the problem, okay? It's like, for example, I can say you when uh, about the hiring people. Uh, before the peop hiring people were under the uh, personal management, under uh, human resource, we can say the personal management department, they, they, they were responsible for hiring. Today we have a new, let's say, new strategic uh, process for the hiring people. It depends in which kind of department we need to hire people. For example, it's sales, sales department, let's say. When the hiring, uh, hiring is in the sales, the human resource manager would contribute with the sales department, with the sales top managers with the sales top managers. They're contributing with them. Uh, they are getting their, uh, what kind of, uh, w what kind of skills, uh, uh, what kind of people, with, what kind of skills they know they need for. The right special program for hiring, the right, uh, the regulations uh, under which uh, the new staff would be work. So this is how it's, uh, going uh, for today, for nowadays, we can say. Let's see the next one. So here we've given to you the box with the, uh, with the um, differences, the, the difference between the personal management and the human resource management. For example, as you can see in the PM, personal management, it deals with uh, micro issues. What about the human resource management? It deals with the macro issues. That means the human resource management deals with in the global more widely than the personal management. It will affect all the company's goals. The HRM is more global, as you can see, and the strategic function and is uh, for the long term. It means uh, the the management the, of the human resource get taken for the long term development and trains for example. It's more proactive, it's same as the global, more proactive, we're contributing with our different departments. Looks at the organization needs, this is very important. As the personal management, it looks at the people's needs. That, you see, you see, here is the, uh, our, the, 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 the seeking goals are different. Because in the human resource management, we look at the organization needs, at the organization uh, main goals. So it's seen as important and strategic. So uh, that means the hu for today, the human resource department in the organizations seen very important. Uh, not as in the personal management, it was not so important. As you can see, it was reactive. That means it worked in in uh, in own small uh, field. Next one. So here is continuous of the boxes. So the human resource management reports like to the CEO for general manager or for the managing director. So today, today human resource department and the human resource manager they they are directly communicate with the CEO of the company. It contributes to the decision making, as you can see. 
and the manager actually follow the business needs that we have talked early that on the organization needs means. What about the PM, the personal manager? It reports to line managers only, has not much decision making at the organization in the overall, and the managing action follow the procedures, just the procedures only. So uh, what about the human resource management? As you can see, the key relation is a customer. That means, oh, OK, the human resource manager is directly contributing and communicating with the customer relationship management. That means with the, uh, through the sales uh, department. OK? The, Beside of the personal management, we should care relation about the labor management. Just means just we are managing our labor, our stuff. That's all. This is like in the personal management, we have only one way of managing people through labor only. Uh, managing uh, means managing stuff uh, in the one way only. Mm, okay, let's see the next one. So, okay, I have some questions, just a moment. Okay. So, some of you ask me, uh, what is the workforce center example? Some examples for workforce center. Workforce, that means the words gives you the definition that the, in the personal management, when we manage the people, so we are, um, we're seeking to to get uh, the, the 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 production our production in uh, and we uh, we are we are um, let's say we centering we are um, we are managing only uh, our stuff to do their job that's all we are forcing them to work for the company and to complete all their responsibilities and to get a done production, any product. What is the, would be some services or the goods. Uh, what about the uh, resource center is different. The human resource res means the human resource management will focus on the resource, uh, on the re people resourcing. That means it's focusing on the people itself, how to develop the, their knowledge and skills, how to train them, to, to attain the organization's goals, to maximize the organization's profit. And in the human resources, we have a very close connection with the uh, company strategies and the, with the company's goals uh, in the overall. Then in the PM, in the PM, in the personal management, we just we just manage the people to work to do their jobs only. We are not going to, for example, to train them to develop their can, their our skills or knowledge, uh, to give them some opportunities for the future study or the, the for the working of to to hire or for example. We're not giving to them some um, career ladder, like uh, to develop uh, their experience in the career ladder. So this is the difference between the HRM management, the HR management, and the personal management. Between the uh, workforce centric, which looks just for the people means just for the people to work. Then the human resource management when we. Uh, we work on the development and training of the people uh, to achieve the company's goals. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's it. So what else I have some kind of question. Some of you ask me what is the micro and macro. Uh, and so micro, micro means a small, small goals. That, that for example, personal management, they have uh, their uh, small goals like just hire people, give salary, that's all. Uh, the mac macro, that means when uh, companies, for example, the companies affect some changes in the management and the human resource management would be participated in this 
changes in, in the company's change at the overall will participate it as a change agent, which will be affect that the people uh, to 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 change uh, for those persons they need for. Okay, what else I have? Uh, sorry. So okay, uh, some of you say that they uh, they couldn't open the third file that I emailed you. That the uh, the third file is was compressed to the WinRAR archive. If you have this program, you can extract it. Who uh, who doesn't uh, who doesn't have this kind of program? Try to download it. If you can't, it just email me. I try send you uh, the presentation each one by by one by like this because they are huge this, so I'm going to tell you what kind of this program is compressed to the Windrun archive just yes, mom I think you should know this is we use it okay Let's see the the continuous of the box we have. Okay, the, in the human assessment we have a fast speeding of the decision. So here is uh, then the personal is a low speed in the decision making head. So in the HRM we have a direct communication in increased flow. Uh, facilitation is the price management skills also performance related. It's more performance related. It's all about when we over the the staff, then the person management is more job evaluation, and in the HRM we have selection. It would be more integrated, and then the in the person management, the selection is more separately integrate. As I told you before, that uh, when the HR manager hiring the people, they integrate with the other the rest of the departments in the company. So what else? And so uh, negotiation is the price management skills. Is it for the personal management? Uh, so that's all. So any question? I, I can see the nurturing. Someone asking me. Sorry, I'm trying to to read your questions for us. Uh, nurturing means training, as a train, uh, same as a training. So let's see the next one. Here is we have some contents of the boxes. So HRM is towards the individual contract in the human resource management. Uh, each employee will be worked on the individual contract, and it will be uh, different with uh, different staffs. Then the in the person means we use some collective. That means we use some the standard contract to all of the staff. In the HRM, we have a job design based on the team working. You know, the team working is uh, nowadays is uh, comes. Um, as a standard, uh, the working form in the any departments, uh, and what else we have? Uh, man so in the human resource management, it's very important when we do manage the climate and the culture in the companies, and we'll, and uh, we have some low standardizations because we have uh, more individual contracts. Yes, right? We have a um, uh, individual. Um, Procedures of working. So, in the human resource for the in the management, uh, 
in the management and the change management uh, process, we had a special agent for the changes, as you can see. But what about the person in the personal management? When the change uh, comes to the company, the company would deal with the stuff that they have it without maybe without any training. That that's very that's not good. I I, I can say. So what else we have? So that's all. So the quick review questions discuss about the HR objectives and the limitation of the personal management. So that's all for today. Seven. So any questions so far? Just mom, some of you uh, just type me the question trying to read first. Ask me the what is TND? Is the training and development? Training and development. Uh, what else? What is uh, what is core? Here is just a moment. Let me see where did you find that? Maybe in the previous slide. Mm. The status quo. Here is just a moment. Oh, I can't. So let me find where did you find about the quote? I, I, as I remember, it was about the status quo, right? Just a moment. Okay. Read that. Name that is slide fourteen a status quo maintain maintains the status quo. Okay, thank you. Yes. Oh, okay, the, <laughs> okay, I, did, I found. So, the maintain status quo that means it maintains. Uh, 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 let's say like wrong wrong decisions. Maintain some wrong decisions can be maintain some wrong decisions in the change management. What about the human resources? They hire special, the, the specialist of the, which is a, called the agent of change or change agents. They they have the special skills and knowledge how to change the person, the people. For example, if the change affects the people in the company, how to change? For example, their responsibilities to a different one. If it's for example, changes could be like technological. Let's say the technological change affects your company, right? You have a, uh, for example, you have a, um, a, some new programs uh, for your new programs. If you do working on the accounting, like, and the, in the human resource management, we hire a specialist for this new program, which uh, train the people in the company how to use that program. They 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 start they they teach them how to uh, and they practice them how to uh, use correctly that kind of program, for example. And the, uh, what about the personal management? This maintains such quo that it means when the cha when the changes happen in the company, maybe they are trying to um, to learn about this program themselves, get some instruction books and try to learn. That in that kind of situation the they can be mistaken or get some uh incorrect uh, decisions about the programs, for example. This is as examples for the maintain status quo and the, for the agent of change. Okay?
Yes, uh, you say that uh, it means also when the change happens, they are not reacting for the changes. They remain all the procedures and people there. They are not trained people for changes for new technology, for example, and they remain same. And this is also uh, would be as an uh, let's say mistake or the, the of the company's management. So what about TND here is given to TND control access to courses? That means uh, the, the personal management, we have a uh, train and development uh, programs. And these programs, they are controlled by the courses. The courses, maybe uh, in this program, the personal management and department would uh, prepare themselves like own. They, they would prepare on those programs. Uh, but in the HRM, we hire, uh, we contribute with the learning, special learning companies, like a training, like consultants per companies. And we are we're given the opportunity for our staff to learn from this company. That the company provides uh, the, the very high, uh, let's say, very high quality uh, programs for the staff. So that's all for the personal management and human resource management. Now we say we are, for today we are all under the human resource management. I think all your companies also work on the human resource management. We won't anymore use the personal management. Maybe in some old fashioned company they use the personal management. So, uh, and the human resource manager all about the managing people to to seek the organization's goals, to seek the org the organization's strategies, and to to maximize the company's profits. Yes, right. Some of you say that, of course, t today is only introduction for human resource management. And the latest chapters we are going to study about, for example, about the strategic HR and what is the strategic human resource management, how the human resource management and the, and the organization strategic management contributing between, how they integrate. And also, we were going to study about the organization development in the overall, about the development, about the old training development programs that the companies offer for for the staff, about the like a reward systems, like reward programs. Maybe you, you heard about the, like tangible, intangible rewards, which we can call like tangible is like we when we receive some rewards in the like money in the cash money and the intangible rewards when we receive rewards such as some special training courses like for example some companies uh, some companies I mean the l very large company they produce the MBA courses to their staff as a free one but let's say it's not like a free one you have but you have to after that when you get your start after from MBA, you would have to work under your company, get a new idea, projects, and so on, to develop with the company. So today, only little introduction for the human resource management. If you can see the, the latest chapters, they are very complicated. Maybe they have seen some complicated, but we will be, we are going to start them based on the uh, some like case studies we call it. Case studies uh, we are will be practice on the uh, the questions which base would be based some uh, based on the some very uh, fa familiar for you the com uh, huge companies. Okay, I have question. What about the labor management is collective? 
the, in the person and says, and then the human assessment the, is toward the individual contracts. That means before, uh, for example, in the in the person mentioned, we had the, co the some standardized contract between the employees and the organizations, uh, and most of the um, let's say the. In the most of the conditions uh, in the contract were uh, similar, uh, were standardized. But today in the human source management, when you come to the company, for example, if, uh, the new uh, staff. We have we, you will be offered some individual contract. Like, would you would you like to work uh, under these responsibilities, get this kind of rewards and this, the benefits? Would you like to work uh, under this kind of uh, time, like some some has a part time job, or uh, they work, for example, not like uh, the the. The, st the standard, the people nine to six. Maybe you can. Would you like to work from six? Mm, uh, sorry, from ten to seven p.m. or different timing. I mean, different timing job. So and also the 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 let's say the conditions will be different from the other kind of uh, positions. Okay. So that's all. No, no, any questions so far? If no, um, we can continue with the um, tradition yourself, if you would like. So, okay, just a moment. One more question I have about the high standardization and the low standardization in the company. That means when we uh, is uh, would be also reflect the, our contracts. For example, in the human resource, we have a low standardization of the conditions of the contracts. But in the performance, it's very high. It means it won't be changed if you would like so. And you have a special like procedures you have to work. You have to do this, this one. That's all. In the and you cannot be uh, like uh, you can't be you cannot be um, more creative. Get some idea to make a new like projects. Maybe you are working in the sales. Uh, for for today in the HRM, if you work in the for example in the sales department, you can participate with the marketing department. You can do s some uh, some collaborative uh, projects. What about the person? Here is uh, means high standardization. You do work in your own department only. You you have some procedure how to to make your work. No any new idea, no uh, creative idea or. Uh, getting something uh, new in your job, in your in your in your duly responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So, any questions so far? If no, if maybe someone wants to present himself or herself, we can continue with the presentation, with the introducing yourself. If you like, so because I can see the new students for today. So I'm glad to see you. We have another 15 minutes for introducing anyone. So I have Mustafa, Mr. from the Mustafa Jafari. Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Mustafa. Hello. Uh, Mr. Mustafa, I just passed you microphone. If you'd like to speak, please. No, I can't hear you. Sorry.
One more time. Yes, Mr. Mustafa. Please. No, no, I cannot hear you. Sorry, I can't. Okay, I have some questions that say the labor means work. Yes, labor is work. Labor is... Um, when we say the labor is... Okay, some... So some of you wants to present yourself now? Anyone? So if you know, uh, I'm going to back to the teaching plan. So today we uh, study about the introduction to the human resource management, right? Uh, the second class will be based on the strategic HRM. We study about the relation between human resource management and the company strategy. Okay, I can hear someone. I'm going to program for a uh, master degree in business administration. Okay, please. Uh, do you hear me? Uh, this is uh, Mr. Uh, Mustafa, right? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Hello? You Hello? Yes, yes. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, madam? Hello, madam? Yes, please talk. Hello? Can you hear me? Sorry, I can't hear anything here. Hello? Yes, yes, please. Okay, no, no. Okay. I can't hear you, Mr. Mustafa. Yes. Everyone can hear you. Please, uh, you want to introduce yourself? Hello. Yes, that is. Hello. Yeah, your voice is uh, very low. Can you hear me? Right now, I can hear you. If you please. And this is. So we are sorry for Mr. Mustafa because uh, we can't hear you. Sometimes we can't hear you. Sometimes your very your voice very low. Try to maximize your voice in the microphone. Okay. So, uh, for the yes, we can hear you. Please. Okay, that's 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 okay. The for the Mr. Mustafa, we cannot hear you. Mustafa Hadi graduated from medical college, of course. Uh, yes, uh, 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 from Banff Medical College. Uh, just uh, 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 have uh, some experience. Uh, uh, yes. 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 Uh, I thought that he graduated at a national level. Yes. Yes. Uh, just uh, I wanted to present myself to other uh, colleagues and other uh, classmates. I think uh, I think uh, they cannot hear me. Uh, my voice. I think it is uh, very loud. Uh, I don't know what is the problem here. Uh, do you hear me, madam? Yes, I can hear you. You can continue, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm. 
I'm repeating from uh, the beginning. Uh, uh, I am uh, Mohammed Mustafa. My last name is Kafari. I have graduated from Balkh Medical College a uh, uh, few years earlier. Uh, and uh, I have uh, some experience, uh, almost nine years experience, working with uh, national and international organizations in um, uh, Afghanistan, especially in bank programs. Uh, uh, now I'm uh, working with uh, one of the uh, agencies in uh, Balkh province. I was uh, very eager to uh, complete my uh, ma uh, my uh, master degree in management uh, uh, as well as a master degree in public health. Uh, I'm very happy for joining to this class. It is my first class and uh, first session. I'm uh, very, very happy and uh, found it uh, very joyful and uh, useful for me. Uh, thank you all and uh, I wish you good luck for all of uh, my classmates and uh, our teachers. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mustafa, for your presentation. So we are glad to hear you. So I can see that uh, Mr. Farid wants to continue. So I'm going to pass you the microphone. Please, Mr. Farid Ahmad Nikpo. Yeah. Uh, could you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, yes. Uh, salam to everyone, to all of my colleagues, uh, to all of my uh, classmates. Uh, so just uh, we just uh, arrived in the middle of uh, our study. So. Um, Yes, uh, my uh, 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 just uh, request is that uh, could you also uh, could you also repeat this uh, uh, lesson for tomorrow also for because some of our our colleagues also they are not attending for uh, for the first lesson and also uh, one of my friends uh, he called me from Kanar province the, uh, it was a so far provinces requested uh, if it is possible to uh, just restart the uh, lesson for for tomorrow also this lesson uh, the first lesson uh, the request uh, the thank you very much for giving me the chance to speak thank you mr Fry. thank you so okay so we today we had uh, some introductions to each room so for the next class um, i try to make some uh, very short presentation for the first class okay then we continue with the second because we have uh, very huge um, topics for the rest of classes so we have to complete all of them between the 10 classes and okay for the i will do for the for the on the, sec on the second class I'll give some very short presentation about the introduction to HRM. Then I will continue with the strategic HRM, OK? I think that should be OK for you. So any, any questions so far? Anyone wants to, present, wants to introduce uh, yourself? Yes, of course. Hello. Also, you can watch your recording. Yes, Miss Miss Lida, right? Hello, ma'am. Yes, we can hear you, Miss Lida. Please speak. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Ah, uh, yes, I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, ma'am. Miss Lida. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Please. Um, uh, uh, ma'am, I have a question regarding the timings. Okay. Ma'am, yes. I have a question according. Hello? Yes, according to the timing. Would you like to suggest us something? Yes, Miss Lida, uh, please continue. What about the timing? So, uh, that's, we have some problem with the Miss Lida, with her microphone. You can chat your question into the box. 
you suggest about the timing because uh, I didn't get your question. So I have another student to introduce himself. Obaidullah. I have a question Mr. Obaidullah, uh, if I say uh, right. I want to change the time okay, Mr. of the class. It is not suitable for me. It was suitable. Yeah, ma'am, yeah. If my pronunciation is right, it's Mr. Obaidullah. Would you like to speak? Uh, can you change the timings? Um, if uh, all my colleagues are willing I just pass your microphone. And if uh, they want to change, uh, so it is not suitable for me. If it is possible. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, Obedullah is speaking from uh, Nangarha province of Afghanistan. Uh, sorry, can you do your voice l loudly, please? Obedullah is speaking from Nangarha province of Afghanistan. Uh, sorry, your voice is very low. I can't hear you. Obedullah is speaking from Nangarha province of Afghanistan. Okay, that's good. Uh, I am graduated from the Tracer faculty in Nangarhar province. Uh, and I have uh, my own uh, NGO and governmental organization. Uh, I am the director of the NGO Human Rights for Afghan organization. And I have uh, worked with different uh, international and national NGOs uh, in Afghanistan for almost uh, six years. And I am uh, like new stu a student of India, new joined US class. And it was nice to meet all uh, classmates and uh, the WWS team. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mr. Ibadullah. So thank you, thank you for your presentation. Thanks a lot. So uh, some of you asked me, uh, so you ha I have a recommendation to change the time from 7 evening to 6. Mm -hmm. That's about the exchanges we have to arrange with uh, the the Bebe's administration first, and as you know, all your classes will be start at seven at seven p.m. at seven o'clock. I think that is that that is uh, is better than the six o'clock. Because some of you are working, maybe you need the time to con to finish your complete your work, and to pr you need the time uh, little time to prepare for the uh, upcoming the session. Uh, so, uh, but some of you are not agree with that one. Who is not agree? Just uh, if you write for the BBS administration, you are not agree. Just let us know how many students are not agree because it's very important. Because if one or two students are not agree, we can't change the time. You see, uh, I yes, I can see some as I uh, agree, some of not. So please, who are not agree with the time, just email to the West administration and let they know about this. Because I'm actually I'm I'm okay with the 7 p.m. For me, that's it's very good. Yeah, most of you are, I can see that most of you are agree with the 7 p.m. But who does not agree, you should to justify why you are not agree with that time. Mm, firstly, it's only one hour difference, it's not so much. 
Okay. So for today we have complete our presentation for our topic. Next one we have uh, next Friday uh, would be the strategic HRM. And I will give you uh, some case study for practicing. Would have some reading and some assignments based on the case study. So that's all for today. So you already received the, all the presentation for the classes, your teaching plan, everything. Ah, also about the ebooks. You have an ebook for HRM study. So all the presentation were prepared based on this ebook that I sent you. So you have to review that ebook. There is uh, very uh, many uh, kind of examples based on each topic. It's very interesting. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much for your participation, for your joining the class. So I'm very glad to see all of you. Uh, who didn't attend this class, it's not so bad because it was only introduction to human resource management. The next session would be very important. So try to particip participate in the class, in the session. Try to come at 7 o'clock. Thanks a lot and uh, enjoy your time. So goodbye. So. Who has some special questions for me or something else? Please email to me. That would be great. When I receive some mails, I uh, accordingly will answer for that email. It's better to email me your questions if you have so. Thanks a lot and goodbye. So, 